What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Barnes here, riding the train. I just wanted to go over section E in your geography IA. Now, section E is 200 words. It's your conclusion. It's very clear and concisely written, and it is only two marks of your total of 30 marks. So it's a very small portion, but it's very significant because you actually come to a conclusion on your research question. You literally answer your research question, and as you can see, I make a note of that here. Answer your research question. That's extremely important. You're going to want to make sure that you come to your conclusion, essentially, in this section. So, in the last video, I came up with a research question. How, what is the relationship between the resorts and the pollution or the waste in Mabini? In this video, I'm going to change my research question just to mix things up a little bit so that you can't just follow me uh, video for video and basically copy what I've done. So I'm going to throw a little curveball here. I'm actually, I looked at Butler's model and how the resorts in Mabini match up with Butler's model. That's, if you remember, the stages that every tourist resort goes through. And it starts with exploration up to stagnation and then either a rejuvenation or decline. We went over this in class. But um, my research question was, to what extent do the resorts in Mabini follow or match up with Butler's model? And then I created a hypothesis. And my hypothesis is right here. The older the resort, the larger the building. Because if you read Butler's model, you'll notice that in the stagnation stage, which is right here, um, what you get is you find that the, uh, there's no more room in the physical space in the resort area, and so the, the resorts themselves are, are smaller and smaller, so you would expect then, or at least I hypothesize that the newer the resort, the smaller the resort, because they just wouldn't have enough space. And so I ran a, a Spearman's rank on the resorts that were tightly packed, as a result, because I thought that resorts that were tightly packed would mean that they were running out of space. So I did a Spearman's rank on that section of resorts, on this little section here, even though there's four, and on this section here. And I found out that, um, I think it was two, this one was like 0.29, so a very weak positive correlation. This one was like 0.3, so another weak positive. But this one was like 0.49, and probably because, you know, there's only four resorts, I might have included a fifth, but um, either way, I found out that um, there was a slight positive correlation, but not enough to ac accept my hypothesis. And this is what I need to make clear for everyone in the class here. You need to um, come to a clear conclusion on both your the answer to your research question as well as your hypotheses. So if you have a hypothesis, you can't just be wishy-washy with it. You have to either accept it or reject it. Don't use the words uh, prove or disprove because you can't prove or disprove or anything. You just need to be able to accept or reject your hypothesis. And if you find that the data doesn't quite stick, it's okay to reject your hypothesis. That's sometimes even more valid because you learn about something that you weren't expecting. Because remember, a hypothesis is a prediction, something that you'd expect. So if you reject your hypothesis, that's almost even more valid. Okay, so I had to reject my hypothesis. Now, that's the first part. That's what I need to include for one mark is my hypothesis. If you don't have a hypothesis, that's okay. Just talk about the uh, overall um, wrap-up of your, your report. And then finally, this is the main part. You need to restate and answer your research question, and you need to come to a clear conclusion that answers the question thoroughly. A sentence that I would prefer that you use, you don't have to, but I would recommend, you can start with the analysis in this report or this analysis shows clearly shows that and then you answer your research question. So for me, I would say the analysis in this report clearly shows that um, clearly shows that Butler's model does not match with Resorts in Mabini. And that would be 
two points right there for the conclusion. So it's very clear, very concise. These are the things that you need to include. Make sure you include them and you're going to get your two marks. Hold on for the next video. That's the evaluation.